long political history. Maybe we could use a sort of dependable angle? That's going to be tough. What he did during the Longshoreman strike doesn't grief of dependability. Bloody Thursday is not the most glamorous thing to have on one's political resume. Frank Merriam, the tear gas and gunshot candidate. I don't even want to know the kind of voter that would appeal to. What if we focus on the wealthy? We know that they will support him because he'll keep their money safe. We're in the middle of a depression, Baxter. The poor vastly outnumber the wealthy. Right. I gotta say, I'm getting nervous here, Baxter. The clock is ticking. So what do we do? How do we win this thing? How do we convince the state that Frank Miriam is an honorable man? What if what? we don't? What do you mean? If we can't convince the world how great Miriam is, then let's show them how great Upton is not. People don't really know the man. They know he's a great writer. They know that he preaches he'll save them from poverty. But they don't really know him. I suppose that's true. So we tell them. We tell them exactly what kind of bastard he is. What, we just make it up? We bend the truth a little. That's all. If we can destroy Upton's credibility, his integrity, then the voters will go for anyone else, even Frank.